should numbering start at 1, or should it start at 0? This was the question considered by Dutch computing colossus and Turing Award winner Edgar Dijkstra in his influential 1982 note entitled, Why Numbering Should Start at Zero. Consider, says Dijkstra, the following sequence. How are we to write this without the presence of these three pernicious dots loitering in the middle, which clearly won't do? We have, he observes, four viable options. Let's call them A, B, C, and D. A and D have one less than or equals to operator and one less than operator. C has two less than or equals to's, while D has two less thans. Are some choices better than others? Yes, says Dijkstra. First, look at sequence length. Our sequence has 11 elements. If we look at the bounds of option A, we see that it runs from 2 up to 13. The difference in bounds is therefore 11. That's nice because it matches the number of elements in our sequence. The same is true for option B, but it is not true for option C or D. Therefore, A and B are superior to C and D. And another thing too, says Dijkstra, consider the issue of adjacency. If we want to write our sequence as the combination of two consecutive subsequences, option A gives us two sequences that match at the boundary. For option B, we get the same effect. For C, however, the subsequence boundaries do not match, nor do they for option D, where the boundaries are no longer even in ascending order. On this aesthetic basis, Dijkstra again considers A and B to be superior to C and D. However, these rules do not tell us which of A and B is preferable, so Dijkstra considers another line of attack. There is a smallest natural number, let's call it S, which in modern mathematics is typically taken to be zero, but sometimes one. Dijkstra himself notes that the classical Greeks considered two as the smallest number. Suppose we want to write the sequence of three numbers, S, S plus one, and S plus two. Let's consider our four options with the same structure of inequalities that we looked at previously. For options B and D, the lower bound of the interval is now s minus 1. Since s is the smallest natural number, s minus 1 is not a natural number. This need to use an unnatural number to specify a range of natural numbers is ugly in Dijkstra's view. So when it comes to writing intervals with natural lower boundaries, a and c are superior to b and d. The next consideration is what happens in the slightly odd case of the empty sequence formed by shrinking sequences starting from S until they have no elements. Here is how we can do that with our four familiar configurations of inequality operators. This time, B and C are forced to use an unnatural number as their upper bounds. Ugly, says Dijkstra. So, by considering the upper boundary, A and D are superior to B and C. From this collection of aesthetic judgments, A is declared the winner. Dijkstra also notes anecdotal evidence that programmers of the MISA language developed at Xerox PARC, which allowed any of the four conventions, found that convention A also has the benefit of producing the fewest bugs in practice. Finally, we come to the key question. When we have n elements in a sequence, what subscript do we assign to the first element? Based on our previous discussion, we've agreed that we are going to write our sequence with a less than or equal to at the lower end and a strict less than at the upper end. We therefore have two seemingly reasonable options, a range that starts at zero and a range that starts at one. The observation given here by Dijkstra is that option zero is nicer, so we should choose that. This too is, of course, an entirely aesthetic judgment rather than an impregnable application of logic. Still, option zero does have the added convenience that the value of i equals the number of elements before it in the sequence, which is somewhat intuitive. 
Given that the range starting from zero is nicer, the moral of the story, says Dijkstra, is that we should consider zero as a natural, indeed as a most natural, number. Our emphatic conclusion is, therefore, that numbering should start from zero. That's it. We've reached the end. Thank you for your attention.